Akari pieces of predefined radio that can capable transmit and receive the radio signal from 1 MHz to 6 GHz. It's a half duplex trans receiver support for the micro USB connectivity and it contains three SMA connectors one for the antenna connector and other two for the clock input and the output synchronization. When we consider the transmission power of HackRF uh, in between 1 MHz to 10 MHz, uh, it's 5 to 15 decibel. Uh, 10 MHz to 2.1 GHz, uh, it will be the same as a 5 decibel, 15 decibel. 2.1 GHz to 2.7 GHz, it will be the 13 decibel to 15 decibel. This is the best performance transmit frequency of the HackRF. Before you transmit, know your laws. HackRF1 has not been tested for the compliance with regulation governing transmission of radio signal. You are responsible for using your HackRF in legally. It contains few pin headers for the communication. It contains 9 pins for direct analog interface that can communicate high speed dual ADC to DAC and 20 GPIO pins that support for GPIO operation and ADC, RTC uh, and the power related operations and 22 of I2C, SPI, UART, GPIO uh, pins as well as SDIO, GPIO pins. I will explain in detail related to this pin in my future videos. I connected my HackRF to my computer using micro USB cable and I connect it to the, my external antenna also. Next I am going to analyze few radio frequency uh, using HackRF. Therefore I use AirSpy application for the radio frequency analysis. It can easily download from the AirSpy's official website so I will share the link in description section. Once you successfully install AirSpy application you can easily run it. This is a user graphical interface of the Aspire application. So in my future videos, I will in detail explain what are the functions of this user graphical interface. So it will show the radio frequency spectrum. So you can uh, analyze the radio frequency. So thanks for the watching this video. So subscribe my YouTube channel to get more videos related to the hacker fan radio frequency analysis thank you okay the let is on